here with head coach Fred McNair. Coach, just a tough contest tonight. Just give us an opening statement about the game. Oh, man, we know it's going to be a tough battle. Um, 60 minutes for the football. And uh, when we came out, we gave up two big scores there. We fought back, uh, get it within one score before halftime. So um, unable to capitalize the second half. And uh, defense did a great job making stops in the second half. And um, I think we just were able to put any points on the board second half. Another field goal. Coach, just talk about the play of the defense tonight. Obviously, came up big in the second half. The adjustments made by Sergeant Thomas and just the way you guys were able to respond. Oh, it was always good to see them guys come around the second half after giving up those touchdowns and uh, didn't give up any more uh, the whole game. So you know, they came in, made some adjustments, and did what they had to do was make some stops in the second half. And like I said, you know, offense, we just didn't move the ball and we didn't capitalize on the opportunity that we had. We had a, we had a wide open receiver down the field and missed him. And, just a couple, a couple of seasons over the road, so we just got to get back to the drawing board and uh, get ready for a good Texas Southern ball team coming in next week. Coach, just you already alluded to it, a couple of missed plays right there, but that's the difference in these contests with Southern, and it's one play, two play, and that can be it. You got to make plays. I tell them all the time, you know, you got to be able to make plays, and uh, we didn't make enough of them. They made a lot of them. Uh, but we didn't make enough of them uh, offensively, and I tell the guys all the time, we got to win if it's the ball. And, and uh, we got to hit them wide over the seas, and we didn't do it. Uh, we go full on fourth down a few times, and we don't muscle out and get tough and get the physical yard that we need. So uh, we didn't make enough plays, and that, that, that happens like that, uh, especially when you're going for it on fourth down and, and short. Coach, just talk about the way that you guys are going to connect really quickly. you got to get ready for another tough team next week. It doesn't get any easier here in the West, but you guys can bounce back. It's homecoming, and it's a lot of incentives still on the line. Oh, yeah, it is. It's still here for us. You know? Like I tell the guys, you know, it's not there in the world. Uh, we just got to get ready for next week. It's next Sunday at home, so it's going to be a physical ball game again, and they can't understand that. Uh, they got to prepare for it through the week. And I think we do a good job through the week, but we got we to translate that to the field. I mean, we do good in the week, um, but when we get to the field, it's like it's going to go back to work. So we got to learn how to play uh, like we practice at, at home. And uh, I think it's the bottom line. Uh, we just have to play good second half offense. Coach, last question. Malik Rogers of Ontario Hunt. It's really been a breakout party for those two guys the last couple of weeks. Just talk about their progression so far. They just, just didn't ever get the ball to them. You know, they, they open receivers. We got to be able to get it to them. They got to be able to catch it. So uh, they did a fine job of getting the ball in, in the end zone, putting in the box. Uh, but we had many opportunities you know, on other plays too as well. We just didn't make those uh, big, big time plays. Big, big time plays. You know, we didn't make enough of them. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. All right.